And let's get into just for a second this Baker Mayfield thing. Baker Mayfield, to be fair, it has been a non-story all year because he played like crap. Then he got hurt. Then he came back, and Sam Darnold got the start. Right. And the Panthers were, you know, a clown show all year. And now you got this kid who's at a career crossroads, right? He might be done, as certainly done as a franchise quarterback for now. So everyone thinks San Francisco's the answer. Well, why don't we ask Kyle Shanahan if they're the answer yeah. and find out what he had to say about the prospects of bringing Baker Mayfield out to the Bay Area. Yeah, so listen, you have Brock Purdy, you have a third-string quarterback who never expected to get into an NFL game, and let's give the kid credit. He played very well uh, last week, threw the ball more than 30 times. Sure. They scored more than 30 points to beat the Miami, Do Miami Dolphins. And the rhetoric, of course, on Purdy is now, dude, the guy's been running our scout team offense against our defense. It's the best defense in football. He's going to be prepared. That being said... You want to have the best possible situation because you're good enough to win a Super Bowl talent-wise. Yes. The problem I see, I just use San Francisco first, we'll talk about other teams in a second, is Baker Mayfield humbled now <laughs> or is he a distraction when he shows up? Because let's be honest, if I put Baker Mayfield against Brock Purdy, Mayfield's probably the better quarterback. I'd say I would disagree with that. Go ahead. I would, dis I would disagree in that he's the better quarterback in that system. You look at Brock Purdy. You look at the foot energy he has. You look at the way he manipulated coverage. You look at the way he read the defense from a, a, from a protection standpoint, got rid of the football. He was exceptional. Sure. Those are all the things that, that, honestly, that Baker Mayfield hasn't done. You know, so obviously he was drafted number one overall, right? Yep. Played and, for and, a couple bad teams. Right, and, but, but when you play for bad teams and you get bad coaching, there's a lot of bad coaching in the National Football League. Yes. I'm just going to tell you, there's a ton of bad coaching no, in the I National Football League. I saw Tampa and New Orleans last night. Right, so, I so, I mean, <laughs> right. Yeah. so, I mean, you'll, you'll get in there from, a, the, for the, from the standpoint of, of what you're supposed to look at, how you go through your progressions. It's the nuanced aspect of football that sets you apart. When you're nuanced to the coaching-wise, when you're nuanced – I tell you what, that's what gets you to the point where you really understand the game. So I think Brock Purdy is ahead of Baker Mayfield just mechanically right now. And because it, he has because the knowledge of the offense, right, or is that overstated? And no, no, I think, it's, I think it's huge. Not only the knowledge of the offense, it's the language of the offense, but knowing exactly what you're being coached. All right, so let me ask you the obvious question. Okay. And I'm, you, it's not like you're going to be right or wrong on just an opinion, because we've only seen the kid I'll for be, one I'll game. I'll be right. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Of course. Yeah, Wait, ahead. is he wrong? But go ahead. Ask, okay. me, <laughs> ask me the question. Like, we've anyway. only seen the kid once. Right. So it's kind of a, an overreaching question. That is, is Brock Purdy good enough after one game Mm -hmm. for San Francisco to win a Super Bowl with him as quarterback. Well, Because that's what, that's, well, I mean, yeah. that's what and, they're going to figure out. Pro, you know, the, the easy answer is no. Right. right? Oh. That, that's the easy answer, Carton. But I, I would say this. They're not based as a franchise on your quarterback winning you a football game. I agree. They're based on your – I mean, they've got one of the most exceptional defenses you'll ever watch. They run the ball. They set up their play action. So he is a guy that says – you say – all you need to do is manage the game. Hand the ball off, All, throw screen and, and, passes. And, 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 and we're going to get you – we're going to give you easy throws where we get one-on-ones and we got guys like Debo, we got guys like Ayuk, we got guys like uh, George Kittle that will break 14 tackles and score touchdowns for yeah. you. Like, that's what we I do. It. So, it's more about don't screw it up. Don't lose us the game. You don't have to win it. Yeah. Our team will win it. Just don't lose it. See, and I, I think Brock Purdy can do that. It's funny. I'm looking. I'm just. I'm looking right now at the standings in the NFL, and I'm trying to figure out right, what team, if not San Francisco. Listen, Baker Mayfield might not sign anywhere. He might just take the million four and sit home because nobody wants him. That's on the table too. And I'm trying to figure out Buffalo. No, Miami. No, the Jets. No. Maybe yes. Why? Maybe Why? yes. I don't know. Mike White gets hurt. Uh, Baltimore, they got your favorite uh, backup quarterback, which we'll get to in a little bit. Yeah. Like, I can't find another spot where Baker Mayfield could go and actually play and maybe make a playoff run. Right. Because all the other teams but you know, that is, have playoff where, down have yeah. a quarterback. This is where you said, like, this is where you said, and you were right, like, is he going to be humbled now? And we always no. say this all the time, athletes, there's two types of athletes, those who are humble, those who are about to be. Right. You, you get your ass kicked in this game. Sure. Right, you do. And he's had his ass kicked. So here's the deal. The best thing for Baker Mayfield to do is go somewhere like San Francisco where he's going to get coached, 
where he's going to start to learn the more, more of the nuance sure. of the game, where he is going to get a better perspective uh, globally of how football works. I actually have a better That's, answer than that. Okay, I, mean, I can guarantee Baker Mayfield is a starter and is on national TV every single weekend. I can make that happen right now. Okay. How's that? USFL on Fox. Yes. Ooh. I'll tune in for that. Yeah. Happy, you want to be humbled? You yeah. want to show everybody that you've got the skills still and you can lead a team and make throws and kind of better yourself? USFL starts in a couple months. You'll be on national TV every day. Mm-hmm. You still have, you're like, f- what do you guys say in baseball? He's a um, 4A, uh, quasi-play 4A player. player. 4A player. 4A player. Yeah. I was a 4A player. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. No, I get it. No, yeah. I'm not saying that disrespectfully. I'm, I'm saying yeah, you he's be. never going to go to the USFL, but we're going to find out how badly he wants to play. Because mm-hmm. if San Francisco doesn't sign him, Who's signing them? Right. The, yeah. the, here's, the, here's the best thing for Maybe a player. Maybe the Texans? Right. Eh. No. The, the best thing for you want to really increase your value, but really increase yourself as a player. Um, and this goes throughout all sports. Yeah. The more you know about the game, I, I, one of the reasons I stayed in the league and, and started for 12 years. Well, weren't you related to the this. GM or no? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't related to it. But, but I crossed played, that off. All right. That as cross a topic. That one off. I played defense my whole college career. So you understood what the defensive line was going so to try I had, to do better. So I had so much better perspective. When I finally moved back my last year in college, I finally moved back after being retired to the offensive side of the football. I had a much better perspective globally on what you guys are trying to do. Right. When a dude, can, a dude lines up, you know, a, a, maybe a weak side linebacker or whatever, and he's a yard off of the spot where he's supposed right. to be, like you're like, something stinks. Where's the rotation coming from? There's a safety coming down here. There's a blitz coming up. Like, you have a better – so sometimes the best thing you can do as a player if you're Baker Mayfield is go somewhere where you're going to learn the game. Go sure. somewhere go where you're coach, not where you're, forced, coach. Yeah, right. not where you're forced to play right off the bat and you're the savior and your team stinks. And, like, go learn. Go take some time to do it. Yeah, I'm with you on that. The USFL is probably not the answer for him, and this is probably the last time we discuss Baker Mayfield. Unless he goes to a team like San Francisco, Purdy plays like yeah. crap, and he right. gets an opportunity. Yeah. And by the way, for a number one overall draft pick, that is a pretty quick decline. And don't forget, here's a guy that took the Cleveland Browns. Yes, yeah. the, the Cleveland Browns yeah. to the postseason. Here, here's, here's the and now look at Co- Co- Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.